Hello, Young Fivers! Miss Carnes is here with your story for today. I know it's a little bit later than I said I would post a video, so I'm sorry if you're already in bed tonight. You can watch this tomorrow. Our story today is one of my favorite stories. You might not know this, but before our Young Fives classroom was the Mountain Room, we were at the Very Hungry Caterpillar Room. So our story today is the Very Hungry Caterpillar. I'm wondering before we read this, if you think you know why we would read The Very Hungry Caterpillar when we're learning about butterflies, go ahead, tell your mom or your dad or your dog or tell someone around you. So our story is The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. He is the author and the illustrator. So remember the author writes the words and the illustrator did the pictures. Make sure everybody can see everything. There we go. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. And on Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. Look at all that. Ooh. The next day was Sunday again. Oh, I missed a part. Sorry. That night, he had a stomach ache. I know his stomach ate too. The next day was Sunday again, and the hungry caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Boys and girls, that means 14 days. But then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and do you think you know what's going to happen? Let's see. <gasps> he was a beautiful butterfly. Were you right? Did you know that? The end. Boys and girls, I'm also adding a short video to our link here too. If you want to take some time to learn about how caterpillars become butterflies, it takes a, quite a long time. You might also remember that at the very beginning of Young Fives, Ellis brought us some butterfly chrysalises. So remember, if you, we, it was the very beginning of the year, but they were hanging from the little twigs and then they emerged as butterflies. All right, boys and girls, that's all for tonight. I'll see you later.